Okay, so for today's um, advertising portion, you're going to be given a template and it's going to look like this. Um, this was all created in Photoshop. If you look over here, you can see the layers. Um, the layers that are orange, you need to change color. You do that by control clicking or right clicking and you can change the color. So each of the orange, orange pieces, you need to change the color. These are in folders, and if you open up the folder, you'll see what it actually is if you turn it on and off. The reason they're in folders is it's saying this is all kind of one thought. This is all one part of the design. The pieces that are in red are pieces you're going to change. So if I turn it off, I can see right there, I'm going to have to drop down the menu, and I'm going to go to... Um, the red SVHS photo and you're going to put in your username. Let's see if I can find the logos right here. If you can change the logo, that's great. If you want to leave it like that, you can, but it's kind of fun to change the little icon. Close that up. I'm then going to um, change the caption right here. So you're going to caption it and you're going to add some sort of advertising tag that goes with your product. This layer right here is where you place your photograph. There's my bright smiling face right there. You're going to replace it. So you're going to put a photo right in this layer and you're going to control click it and you're going to go create clipping mask, which is let's see create clipping mask and you're going to see what happens on the picture as I'm actually touching the screen as if you can see it. Create clipping mask. It is going to put itself in this box that's right here. So it's saying affect the layer below and in that case it's just a square shape and it's going to put that in there. Once you are done you're going to save it as a JPEG and then you're going to place this into a photograph. And the way you do that is you're going to take a photograph, load it up onto with, you're going to take a picture with somebody in their phone, you're going to load it into Photoshop, you're going to drag your image, hit Command A and Command C to copy, or just take your move tool and, whoop, Command A, there we go. You're going to take your saved copy, sorry, and you're going to drag it in here. Once you do that, you're then going to hit Command T, and you go up to Edit, Transform, and you're going to use a combination of the warp and perspective. If you look here, perspective will bring it farther in the horizon. Warp, I have to hit enter after I do it each time. Warp will give you a little grid that you can move into the corners. Now the trick is you want to make this look as realistic as possible. Now what I had to do with, and I'll hit enter, what I had to do with this picture is because my picture was over somebody's finger, I went back to the background layer, went to a selection tool, just selected the finger, hit Command J, there's the finger layer, so if I turn everything off, I'm just left with a big finger. I get the joke. There we go, lift it to the top. That layer is now above our image layer, so it looks like um, the fingers are above the image. All right, good luck, have fun with this.